but here we can have a new project and we give it a name I don't know equivalent resistance um, and say save okay and um, we get a blank schematic and here's the library and here in the library we find the components and what we need for our circuit is of course a resistor or a couple of resistors um, and yeah and something to, to feed the circuit to power the circuit so let's start with the resistor and as you can see everything is super small but using the mouse wheel you can zoom in and um, yeah so I need to look so we need two resistors like this Let's start with them um, and I think with control R, no, with control R you cannot rotate but we will find out how you can rotate them. Um, probably by saying uh, links drehen, rechts drehen. Okay, so um, here you can rotate left and right. Probably you can also switch this to English somewhere but I have not uh, um, set my browser to be English okay so then we need uh, two more resistors here and two more resistors over there so maybe I can also just copy this and paste it here and uh, paste it another time here and also copy this and paste it over here and then I think we had another resistor over here right Okay, so I've somehow nicely replicated the circuit. Um, then, of course, we need to draw wires. So there's a um, there's a wire tool here. There's a wire tool here. I will I will select this one, and so with no, this is the wrong one. Then probably we need this one. So okay, yeah, this. With this we can wire everything together. Let's draw the outer loop first and um, connect these resistors with each other. And then as you can see if you draw nodes there will be automatically some, some soldering dot um, painted. Okay, then next step would be the resistors all need values. Right, they, they need the proper values. So these two here are one ohm and this is also <laughs> one ohm. Um, so currently they are set to oops, they are set to one kilo ohm. So with escape you get out of this um, drawing mode. And so you just click on the resistor, you can set the resistance. So I will just delete the kilo, uh, delete the kilo oops, also here and delete the kilo over there and then check back to the exercise booklet so um, this resistor is 2 ohm and the other two resistors are 6 ohm so this one should be 2 and this one should be 6 as well as the other vertical one here okay so now we have the same the very same circuit as in our exercise booklet. Uh, even the resistors look similar. So yeah, then if we want to get the equivalent resistance between this node here and this node, they are called A and B in our exercise booklet. Do you have an idea what we could use to power the circuit, which would be meaningful and simple? Yeah, we could apply a voltage and then of course there will flow some current and if we have current and voltage then we can calculate resistance. Um, there's an, an, an even simpler way, let's say. If we use a current source and if we set the current source to one ampere, then voltage is resistance times current. If the current is one, then the voltage will have the same value as the resistance just as the voltage is, is in volt and the resistance will be in ohm. So if we find a current source somewhere, and here's a current source, 
So I will place the current source on this side and I will um, rotate this oops, um, wrong, wrong menu. So yeah, I can flip it vertically. Okay, so let's zoom in a bit to a different place. So if we wire the current source to our input node and wire the output node also back to the current source. Um, yeah, then we should be fine. And we need to set this lower node of the current source to ground. So I will place a ground here. You need the ground because what runs in the background is nodal voltage analysis or modified nodal voltage analysis. Um, and we will talk about this later. For this, you need to set like a reference node and this is this ground node. And so this uh, current source should be already set to one ampere of uh, current. So let's save and let's simulate. Um, and before we simulate, maybe let's set the simulation settings. And we don't want to, this is, um, <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a bad translation. Uh, it says single simulation. I think what they mean is, um, yeah, a simulation in time domain. This is simulation in frequency domain, and what we want to have is um, just some DC operating point solution. We just want to find the operating point, the operating point of the circuit. So we start, and then we get. Um, yeah, the voltage at different nodes, and now we need to maybe find out a node, or maybe I will I will click on cancel, and so with this here we can label a node, and let's label this node here. Um, equivalent resistance, and connect it, and save again and just run the simulation again. And so then we see, okay, the voltage at this node that is called equivalent resistance has a value of 8 times 10 to the power of minus 1 volt. So it's 0 0.8 volt. So we feed 1 ampere into the circuit, we get a voltage of 0 0.8 volt. So our resistance is 0 0.8 divided by 1. So 0 0.8, uh, 0 0.8 volt divided by 1 ampere is 0 0.8 ohm. And we can check if we uh, take a look at the, if you remember what we calculated, or if we just take a look into the results check here, um, it was this subtask here, we also have the 0 0.8 ohm. So this perfectly makes sense. And I mean, this way you can simulate circuits like this in some circuit simulator, like Easy EDA, you could also use LTSPICE or any other one uh, that is on uh, out there, QSPICE for example from Corvo, and draw the same circuit, use the same resistance values powered by a current source of one ampere, and uh, you get the equivalent resistance of the circuit. This is what I would like to show. And this is what you would, what, what you should also do in this additional assignment. 